The progressive conservatives had their final debate before they vote for their new leader on March 18th. Honestly, it was kind of boring. The candidates pretty much agree on everything except two contentious issues, uniting conservatives and the carbon tax. And even then, there's some crossover between candidates. I thought Richard Starkey stood out on some of his points on municipal and provincial relationships, having been an experienced alderman. He was also good on points about education and parental choice, standing up for homeschoolers that the NDP once called fringe. Nelson was also good on education, bringing up reverting the math program back to traditional techniques rather than discovery math that's been driving provincial testing grades down since it was brought in. Jason Kenney was solid on health care and suggested Albertans have more choice, and he even took a shot at taking taxing powers away from municipalities, specifically mentioning Mayor of Calgary, Nahid Nenshi. Overall, it was a pretty standard debate with a laundry list of questions that touched on other topics like tourism and the economy. But then there were those two topics that everyone is divided on. I think both Starkey and Nelson are way off on unity. Starkey says that unity isn't an option because a third party will be Wild Rose 2.0, too far right, and that if people wanted to vote for Wild Rose, they'd be the governing party right now. He also says that the PCs can't raise money because nobody knows whether they're even going to be a party in the future. Not so. In reality, the PCs have been in financial distress since the last election, since before unity even became an idea. Nelson also has a weak excuse that unification would take too long to organize and conservatives wouldn't win an election until 2023. From what polls are saying, conservatives want to unite, they wanted to do it yesterday, and Jason Kenney is the only candidate that is campaigning on that plan. As for a carbon tax, Nelson supports the idea, and we all know how the majority of Albertans feel about this cash grab that's really just meant to line the government's pockets. Bottom line, I think people are ready for this thing to be over. Conservatives and members of both the Wild Rose and PC parties want to unite, and any reason that's given not to can only lead to it being out of self-interest. Nelson has two points against him because he's on board with a carbon tax and he would rather rebuild the progressive conservative party than unite and create a third party. Starkey has one point against him because he's also against the unification plan. So really, that only leaves one man for the job. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks so much for watching. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? If not, click the link below so that you don't miss any of the content that you won't find anywhere else.